it's really two major categories. Those who have access to the resources that enable them to navigate life versus those who don't. And in that sense, it's not really that different whether you live in the United States or Europe or India or, or Asia or any place else. Now, at a time like this, material means material resources are helpful, certainly. But at the same time, we're all reminded that this virus doesn't matter, doesn't care who you are, where you are, or how much money you have. So there is a way in which all of us on a certain level are equally vulnerable. And that's the kind of thing that puts us into a deeper place within ourselves than we normally inhabit. It is a, a we're, we're, you know, we talk about hunkering down, but it's more of a bunker than it's a hunker. And during this period, it's kind of like if you're on a ship and the captain comes on and says, we're going into a storm. There's no way around it. It's going to be rocky. And you prepare yourself. And if you did not have the kind of emotional and psychological musculature with which to deal with life storms before, guess what? You're going to learn to develop those muscles now. There's a line, it's not up to you what you learn, it's merely up to you whether you learn through joy or through pain. And I believe that humanity is learning some very important lessons painfully in this situation about our common humanity, our common vulnerability, and our common need to organize human civilization in a very different way in the, in the years ahead if we are going to survive and to thrive as a species.